Hey everyone, it's Majam here and welcome to this current household video. So usually when I do a current household video, I do those videos on my not so berry family, which I usually play in my own time. But a couple weeks ago I went back to university and I just wanted to play the game without having any rules or any goals to follow. And you know, just relax and play the game as I've been playing it for the last 17 years, I think. And usually when I play the, play the game, I create a couple and they start as boyfriend, girlfriends, both, who cares. And they work their way up in the world, so I don't cheat, except their relationships sometimes at the beginning. But I don't cheat with the money, with the jobs, with the skills. They have to work they way up and earn as much money as they need to to move house, move apartments or things like that. And at some point they have babies and then I continue on with the babies who became adults and so on and so forth. So also, as you may know, with the free updates there was new hair and I wanted to create a sim who could wear this new hair. So that's how Azure color over here, and by the way I hope I'm saying her name right. So Azur over here, um, he's the sim I created with this hair, which I really really like. I really like this hair, they're really beautiful. And she's really beautiful as well. Um, so I created Azur, and to go quickly through her personality, she's active, she's an art lover, she's jealous, and she's a quick learner, and this comes from her aspiration, which is the renaissance sim aspiration. And also she is uh, in the social media career, and she's at the level 3 at the, of, this, of this career. So Azur, I was imagining her as being stressed out all the time. She's always worrying about something. About her future, about money, about maybe her boyfriend going and see someone else. She's always worrying about something. She's always stressed out. And the only thing she found to calm herself down is to do yoga. So she, do, she does a lot of yoga. Um, how far is she actually on her wellness skill? She's at level 2. Well, I thought she was higher than that, because she, she did a lot of yoga. But anyway, she's going to go up in this skill soon enough. Just, she does a lot of yoga, just to relax herself and calm down and all this. But the person who can help her really relax is her boyfriend, Jeremiah, which I hope I'm saying the name right. So this is Jeremiah Lemon. And I know their names are quite weird, but it's because I randomized them on Create a Sim. I have actually no idea to the last names I can give to my sims. I actually don't really care how their, what their last name is. I don't really care. What I care about is their personality and their first name. That's all I care about. So Jeremiah, he's an insider, he's a foodie, he's self-assured, and he has the high metabolism trait, which comes from his aspiration, which is to be a bodybuilder. That's why he's in the athletic career, and he's also at level 3. So, Jeremiah, I see him as being a little bit more relaxed than Azure, and he's quite outgoing. He loves being with his friends, and I think he loves also, you know, the fact that in their relationship with Azure, he's, he's the one who can reassure her, you know, he's feeling useful. And he loves her very much, as you can see by the way he's looking at her right now. He loves her very, very much. And sometimes I think the fact that she thinks that he can go out and see someone else and cheat on her, I think sometimes this can hurt him, you know? So he's really trying to reassure her. So these are Jeremiah and Azur. And something that I should mention as well is that I've installed a few weeks ago the MC Command Center into my game because I wanted to have a bit more life in my game. Usually I went back to the world view and I was modifying the household, I was making sims having babies and all this. This way you knew there was some kind of a story progression. But we, with the MC Command Center it's totally randomized and this is something that I really love about the sims. It's all the random things that happen in the game. And with the MC Command Center, there is the Risky Woohoo mod, which I missed from The Sims 3, to be honest. So, I've installed this Risky Woohoo thing, and I've set up the settings to 10%. I thought this was enough, you know, the risk to get pregnant, 10%. I thought this wouldn't be that often. 
And after I have played three Sims days with Jeremiah and Azur, and they woohooed two times during the three days, Azur got pregnant. So they were first living in a really bright and beautiful apartment in the fashion district. There was only one bedroom, so when she got pregnant, they, they didn't have enough place to welcome a baby into their family. So they had to move apartments. So they've moved into my single dad apartment. And by the way, you can see the two videos, the two build videos of those two apartments on my channel. And I will put a link in the description if you're interested, interested to do so. So they've moved into the single dad apartment because there was one bedroom, one more bedroom. So there was two bedrooms in this apartment. And it was the perfect size for a small family with not that much money. But you know, it was great. And then Azir went into labor, they went to the hospital. She gave birth to Aiden, Andrew, and Aquini. Three babies, triplets, in one go. Yuppie! That was a surprise, and that was actually the first ever time that happened to me in The Sims 3, uh, 4. Sorry, The Sims 4. And I'm actually hoping that this is not a glitch from the MC Command Center because they didn't woohoo. I, I made sure of that because I didn't want to have triplets, uh, triplets, twins. I didn't want to have twins or triplets. I just wanted to have one baby because they definitely cannot afford to have three babies to, to be taken care of. So I made sure they didn't woohoo. As you can see, they don't have the fertility reward trait, but they had triplets anyway. So I hope this is not a glitch that came from the MC Command Center installed. I'm really hoping so. But anyway, so when they had the triplets, obviously they had to move out because the single dad apartment, it's not that big. It was, it was too small for three babies, for a family of five. It was too small. So I moved them into my renovation of the 19 Kill Paper House apartment. And you can also see the speed build of this apartment. Originally, I've built this apartment for a Let's Play that I've never really started, unfortunately. But I thought this apartment would be perfect for them because there's three bedrooms. So, of course, there's Jeremiah and Azur's bedroom. There's a nice little bathroom, though. Uh, of course, living, dining, kitchen, all this. And they even have a balcony with all their working out equipment. And so, what I was really interested about was that there was two other bedrooms because they had Aiden over here and Andrew over here, who are baby boys, and Aquine, who's a baby girl. So this way Aquine can have her own bedroom and not share her bedroom with her brothers. Even though when they were when they will be younger, you know, like toddlers and children, you know, it's not really annoying that she's sharing her bedroom with her brothers but that when she will be a teenager we have to think about the fact that she maybe wants to have more intimacy so yeah triplets i was really surprised about this and as i said this is the first time this happened to me in the sims 4 i really hope this is not a glitch because if other of my sims or even maybe one of them will have a baby i hope they will not have triplets as well and also, as you may have seen, um, they all have names starting with an A because I was thinking that maybe I could try an alphabetical legacy. Um, first, I thought that maybe Azur could have been the matriarch and could have been the first generation, but then I decided not to. I really wanted, because I think I've seen this into the rules, I think the first generation is considered as the first baby born or babies born and you have to give them the A letter in their name. And so one, once I will choose one of them as an A, their babies will have names starting with a B, and so on and so on and so on. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming for, so probably 26th generation, but we're not there yet, we're still with those triplets. So they've just been born, I think their birthday will be tomorrow or something like that. And I, I have to say that I'm not in a hurry to have them all as toddlers. Really not. So, yeah, I still have one more thing to say because when I first started to make my current household on the Not So Berry family, I wanted to make an update monthly, one update per month. But I realized when I was editing the second video of my Not So Berry family, 
I completely forgot to say a lot of things about one of the sim of this family and I forgot so many things. So I decided that for this family, every time something huge like triplets happen in this family, I will update you. So maybe this will be once a week, once a month, I don't know. We'll see. Every time something big happened to this family, I will keep you updated. And I have to say that I really, really like them. Probably because I identify myself a little bit into Azure. Because I'm stressed out all the time. I'm stressing out about everything. So the fact that Azure is stressing out about everything all the time, I don't know, I feel... I got attached to her really easily. And Jeremiah is just an angel. He's so nice. Huh? So yeah. So that was my color slash lemon family, which I know are weird, weird names, but I like it. You know, every time something is weird, every time something is uncommon, abnormal, I like it. I really like it. So yeah, that was my current household update. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to what will happen next with this family. And I hope you too. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.